Five gaps guaranteed to show up on your USMLE exam. This is episode number one, an iron gap, which is gap number one of five. Picture an iron gap like a very simple money problem. You have one big plus bucket, that's sodium. And then you have two minus buckets, you count, that's chloride and bicarb. And you have one secret minus bucket, you don't count, that's other stuff like lactate, ketones and toxins. The an iron gap is just plus bucket minus the two minus buckets you count. So that's sodium minus chloride minus bicarb. If the secret bucket of minus charges gets big, the gap between plus and visible minus gets bigger. The normal anion gap is 8 to 12 and if it is more than 12 we call it high anion gap acidosis. The mnemonic for this is mud piles. M is for methanol, U is for uremia, D is for diabetic ketoacidosis, P is for propylene, glycol or parahyde poisoning, I is for iron or niazate poisoning, L is for lactic acidosis, E is for ethylene glycol and S is for salicyclates. In all of these you're adding new acids into the blood. So what happens? Well the H positive gets soaked up by the bicarb. So bicarb goes down but the new negative buddy like lactic or ketone or the toxic metabolite stays in the secret bucket of unmeasured anions. That's high anion gap acidosis. Now let's talk about normal anion gap acidosis also called as hyperchloremic acidosis. Here the anion gap is between 8 to 12. The mnemonic for this is hard as which is H is for hyperalimentation, A is for acetazolamide or Addison disease, R is for renal tubular acidosis, D is for diarrhea, A is for anion exchange resins, S is for saline administration and the other S is for spironolactone. Here you're losing bicarb instead of adding new acid. So what happens? Bicarb is lost from the body through diarrhea, RTA or other mechanisms. So bicarb goes down to keep charges balanced. The body brings in more chloride. So chloride goes up. So now you've gotten bicarb down, chloride up, but the sum of chloride plus bicarb stays about the same. The secret bucket of unmeasured anions hasn't grown. That means sodium minus chloride plus bicarb stays normal. That's normal anion gap acidosis.